A Davis County school teacher set to retire gets quite the surprise from a teacher in training who shows up to her classroom for mentoring. Turns out it's one of her former students from the first grade. Tonight, Dan takes us inside the story of this teacher-student duo. Dan, uh, how long ago was the first grade class? Well, Mark, it was 30 years ago when Kathleen Dickinson taught little Edie. Now Edie is wanting to become an elementary school teacher herself, and she's in training, and the woman who is inspiring her three decades ago. If you put it back together, what do you call it? Compose it. When it comes to teaching first grade, when you get to raise your hand so we can look. Kathleen Dickinson, or Mrs. Dickinson, is a pro. I love the children. This is her 30th year of teaching. Good job, boys and girls. Here at Hillfield Elementary School in Clearfield. I started here in 1987. And here she is back then with her very first class so of first graders. Well, I am right here. Wow, did I look a lot different. And there in the front row in a red dress and a big smile is one of her favorite students, little Edie. Seems like it was yesterday and she was a delight. I still have that dress. Couldn't pronounce the word tree and called it Steve. So, and here is Edie today, all grown up Steve and preparing for her own Love career. Dad. I would like to be an elementary school teacher. Yes, 35-year-old Edie Catherkohl, who was one of Mrs. Dickinson's very first students 30 years ago, is now in training to be an elementary teacher. Oh, it completely deja vu. Perfect. Now these are the two little. And her trainer or mentor is a woman who inspired her from the beginning. Mrs. Dickinson was a huge part of why I want to be a teacher. She made everything so much fun. Learning was so much fun with her. I mean, we can talk about it. That's because Mrs. Dickinson says students like Edie made it fun. She was delightful. She loved school. She came in every day just motivated, enthusiastic. Shall we count it together? And this mentoring is all happening during the same school year that Mrs. Dickinson I'm saying goodbye. You guys are so smart. Has decided to retire. It's bittersweet. It's bittersweet. That's when our detective ears work the best. The toughest part will be Let's not have. seeing the kids. I'm not really looking forward to saying goodbye to the kids. I'm going to miss them the most because I'm not ready to leave the kids. This was my first grade classroom. Edie's first grade classroom is located just around the corner from where Mrs. Dickinson holds her class. We were facing this way. I do remember that. The memories of her teacher are unforgettable. You knew she cared about what she did. She made sure everybody felt special. Crisscross applesauce. And she also knew how to have fun. Christmas was the funnest. She would dance around the room singing Jingle Bell Rock. That's why Edie says she couldn't ask for a better mentor. It's amazing. It's so much fun to be able to learn from her and watch her teach as an adult now. Maybe it was fate. Maybe it was, you know, I don't know. Pass these back, sweetheart. Three decades of teaching, and Mrs. Dickinson says it couldn't come to a better end. One of her original students entering the educational world while she exits. Okay, Dolly. Her best advice, love shape. the kids. If they don't feel loved and cared for, it's really hard to get down to the learning. Awesome, Dalton, give me five. <laughs> Well, Mrs. Dickinson taught school for three years before going to Hillfield Elementary, so she will retire after 33 years of teaching. She says she wants to still enjoy her health during her retirement years, and that's why she's stepping down. Edie hopes to graduate and be teaching in the 2018 school year. For more information on this story, go to KUTV.com, click on Features, and Inside the Story. 30 years, gone by pretty quick. Full circle, though. That's right, full one circle. One of her own. That's right. Picking up the mantle. She's back to the square one there. And everybody has that one teacher they really remember. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And fortunately, she got